Hello there guys, welcome back to me playing some Sim Aeroport. It's Quirty Afro here. Welcome to episode number two. In the first episode, I just got you guys a bit acquainted back into this game. I know people it's, it's been out for a while or whatever, but I thought I'd uh, start a series on this. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Welcome to the second one. Uh, we kind of tried to build a kind of nice secure um, security zone in our like in the area like I've noticed that they updated the queues which actually look really really nice but uh, we're having some issues with assigning some of these uh, ID check stands so I might delete some of these and kind of redo them and whatnot and also as you can see we're having some issues here with the baggage reclaim and I think that can uh, that can probably be sorted out I think even though we don't have a um, even though we don't have a uh, um, uh, an underground network of uh, conveyor belts. Uh, conveyor belts. I think if you put a uh, a baggage carousel down, I think uh, the staff at the airport manually drive a baggage car, and they take uh, baggage from the check-in desk and they drive it to the plane, and then vice versa. When people land, they come and and then they have a baggage uh, put onto the car and it gets driven there. So that's why people are still waiting there uh, for their baggage, and they probably won't get it until that baggage baggage carousel is built probably I think I'm also gonna hire one more uh, staff member so maybe she will go and drive the car I suppose I think I'm not too sure the shout outs in this video by the way go to Callum 1214 and UK trains that's again Callum 1214 and UK trains and links and stuff will be down below show them some love uh, if you want to shout out use the QWERTY uh, forms link down below or you can also use it to suggest videos as well as put forward questions for my Q&A series right what am I doing? It's night time around now. I don't think we have any... Well, actually, maybe we do have scheduled flights. We shouldn't have to. We, I think we had like... What time is it right now? It is 10. We shouldn't have any scheduled flights. I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's already departed. Yeah, so tomorrow... Oh! Oh, this is new. Oh, this is this is new. Just let me get... Let me get... Um... Da, 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 da. Ah, so these are daily flights I've booked in. So, any changes, right click to terminate this flight. Oh, it's a contract. Oh, oh. so this is something that's changed. This is something that I actually didn't know about. Because when I played it, uh, when you um, went here onto the... Um, when you went on to like get a contract, or just a flight, basically. You wanted to schedule in a flight from an airline. Um, it was just one flight. And then you would have to book more for each day and whatnot. While this... Um, actually appears to be a, a contract so you get that same flight each day um, which I'm kind of content with that's actually a really good nice addition I'm very happy with that actually because before I had to always book in flights and now you just you just book in a contract and you you have flights coming in in and out every day that's that's great right the issue we had before and I really want to probably get get it sorted one thing I probably should do is I uh, uh, let me let me clear these queues. Right. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the queues now properly. Where I'm gonna do them one by one. I'm gonna assign. So let me do this one first, and let's assign that. Let's assign this one to. First class only, shall we? There we go. That's something you can do in this game where you can assign queues, you can assign gates as well. So if you want to, at some point later on, if we were going to get busy with our gates and whatnot, we can actually add another agent desk for just first class passengers. So it's not too bad. So that's going to be first class. That's fine. Uh, now I want to do another queue. But the thing here is assigned to... Okay, good. That's great. Assign that. That's closed. Great. Do another queue. And then we want to assign that to... I'm guessing that's the one... That's the furthest one. It has to be. It'll be annoying if it's not, but I'm just... I'm hopeful... Okay, yeah, that one's for first class passenger. I think the first class passengers is blue. I think. Right. 
and we'll assign that one assign to wait what what um okay let me try something else here let me shrink that one let me expand and let me start one from here why is it okay that's a bit of a I think that's a bug because I can't assign to yeah I can only assign why can I why is it that's, that's so odd I don't know I'm just gonna leave that one I'm just gonna leave that one uh, there for now uh, we'll see how it reacts or whatnot but I think all the other ones um, no this one's assigned oh my god Q problems like this is oh, oh my god the queues were always like a really big issue. What well, I found a big issue, they just you could never assign them properly because oh, it's 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 just annoying. Anyway, let me try let me try um, a different tactic. Let me try um, let me just try doing a, just a normal straight line queue. Uh, what? Yeah, there's something. I think there's something bugged here. I think because yeah. If I assign that, yeah, this there's something, there's something, there's something a little broken here. I think, because I cannot, I cannot. Let me delete this queue, and now let me see what happens now. Yeah, this, this, ooh, there's something really broken here. But it's in early access this game, so you can't really knock it down too much. Okay, let me try one. Let's try one that I tried. This is a design I tried before with the old cues. I don't know if it'll work with these new cues. Hmm. Ah, okay. This looks promising. Let's do that one first class, assign. Uh, ah, that's better. Yes, we got it. There we go, guys. We got it done. So it's okay. That's 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 a lot better. And it doesn't matter if it's just a, like a nice straight line queue. That's fine. At least uh, I think now people will come through, and I think now people that actually get off the plane, they will not walk through here. I hope. Like I, that's what I hope. But whatever. Anyway, let's. Uh, one thing we could do is uh, just to kind of like get things kind of rolling here is we can I, I think we should like upgrade the ticketing area a little bit better so uh, because the ticketing area right now is a bit like uh, yeah it could, it could it could it could do some love um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna I'm going to have you'll see what I'm gonna do I can't really speak it out loud but you'll see what I, what I actually really want to do with this so I'm gonna get some ticketing offices um, let's do it like that and like that, possibly, yeah. Um, so I'm going to have four like that and then I'm going to have, I'm going to have another few ticketing places. Uh, let's have one. Ah, uh, this was the issue that I actually had before, is because when you go underground and when you want to do... Oh, I don't know how this might work out, actually. Maybe I won't do that. Uh, how about we do that, and then let me get back to the zones, and let me zone in a bit more of this ticketing area, shall we? Like that. There we go, that's a nice ticketing-sized area. Um... Oh, you know what, actually? Let's uh, cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. Let's, let's make another... Let's make another uh, ticketing, ticketing desk here. And then let's have... Free ticketing desk there. And then basically my idea here is to basically have... Um, a check-in desk because you can have self-check-in machines as well so if we uh, one thing I want to do is I want to put some objects where are the objects let me put some decorative plants uh, 
And then, where are those ticketing machines? Yes, ticketing kiosks. We we'll have a ticketing kiosk thing here. There we go. And then, you know what, possibly, you know what we could actually do? We could have a, a first class area for first class check-in, maybe? That'd be something cool now, wouldn't it? Um, if we... Uh, do something like... From here? Or maybe here? I don't know how much space I want to play around with, to be honest. Or I don't know if I want to do a landscape, I'm not too sure. Um... That'll be fine. Uh, one thing I want to do with the queues, though, however, I want to do a queue that. So I want to have a queue that begins off going. Something like that? <laughs> I don't even know. And that, that will serve those three, and then we'll, you'll have another queue which uh, does. Oh god, this is crazy. But does that? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if, how, if we can assign it. So yeah, we can assign that one to that one. We can assign that one to that one. And we can assign that one to that one. And then we're going to assign that one to that one. And once those two built, etc., they'll, they'll work out like that. Uh, now these ones... Okay, I want to... Okay, there's going to be... There's going to be a queue. Now, bear with me with this. There's going to be a queue that starts there and goes... To that one and that's going to be a first class queue i think i don't know actually no i didn't i don't like how i did that uh there we go that's the first class queue um and why is no i don't want that and then the other class can start here and just go to there that'll be fine and once that's built, I'll assign all of that to wherever it needs to be. But you can see what I'm trying to go for. Let's hire a few more uh, workmen because then things... Oh, and actually speed up the time because... <laughs> uh, so that I can assign to this one. And that one assigned to that one. Hire a few more staff. There we go, that should be fine. Right, this one I'm going to assign to that, and I'm going to put first class only. And then the rest of these ones can be assigned to that. Uh, and assign that one to that one, and that one to... Oh, that one's assigned. That one is assigned. I think that one's assigned. No, it's not. Assign. And that one, that one's assigned. Good. Right, so we have a first class queue thing there. We have the rest of our normal class. And that's the kind of ticketing kiosk for, uh, that's the automatic ticket. Actually, you know, one thing we could do is we could add some more machines. We could add, um, where are those machines? We can add a whole row here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Cancel and one there. So we have a nice, we have a nice kind of. Uh, if people just want to buy, uh, that if they just want to check in themselves, they have a nice check-in area that they can do that. And then if um, there's a first-class ticketing desk, and then the rest of all economies. So actually, I really like that. We could actually now we could do the conveyor line. Uh, let me do it like that one goes out. How does that work? Not by opening gate. I think that's fine. And now you'll see how we do the conveyor thing. So, uh, oh, that's a bit awkward. Can I cross? No, I don't think I can. Let me cr let me uh, let me right click that and. We will do that again, because I don't want... I think that's fine. And then if I do that, yeah, that's better, because now I can 
bring that down here and then I can bring it down here and then that's basically how we build the underground conveyor line so uh, uh, all of our baggage can now be sent underground uh, people will still uh, staff members will still um, uh, take things with like the baggage cart but it's just gonna be really convenient you see what I'm doing now it's really nice and then there we go oh and this one goes up there oh no Perfect, they're all building that up and hopefully we should get some testing passengers. We'll see how that all gets tested. Even though they're not using <laughs> they're not using the queue prop. The queues are a little bit, I don't know, a little bit busted. I don't know if it's hmm. I don't know if it's actually something to do with the zoning, maybe. Let me zone this as ticketing as well. Just to see if it actually makes a difference with any of the queue things, because I'm not too sure. Right, that's all going away nicely. <laughs> There's still passengers there waiting. I think I'm gonna have to just send them home. You can actually click and say send home. But I don't wanna I don't wanna do that for every single passenger. I think that's gonna be quite annoying. Oh, let's hire a janitor to clear clean stuff up. Or well, a few janitors, why not? There's our break deadlock. Oh. Now, what are these passengers gonna do? There, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna go. They go. Wow, you have, you have a nice path to go through, and they choose to do that. And uh, I don't know these 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 um key things are a bit iffy, and I don't think they work m massively properly. <laughs> and this is basically how the baggage gets dropped off uh, without a conveyor belt. So once we get the conveyor belt going, it's going to be really, really nice. But so far, we're actually getting a nice uh, rhythm of passengers coming through, which is really good. And things seem to be working out. One thing we can actually do, and I've always done this with all the airports I've started off with, is we can actually build... We should, I think we should build another gate, because we have the space to do it here. Um, I'm just gonna put that there. You can start building that up because it's just nice. It just nicely slots into there, and you don't even have to build any more runways and whatnot. Uh, have to build a hangar as well. Whereas those hangars, small hangar, is where you keep all your kind of like airport vehicles and whatnot, and that's where you can get the baggage vehicles and stuff that will take the. Um... Oh my god, are you really walking through there? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build... No, I can't build another scanner there. Hmm. Where's the scanner? Let me see if I can. I could, I could build a scanner here. <laughs> but I don't think... I wish you could build... I don't understand why you can't build it next to a wall. That really confuses me. That you can't build a next door wall. And there's still those passengers just waiting there. I can start sending them home, can't I? Yeah, but I wish you could like multi select because that's kind of annoying that like you have to do it all individually. It's kind of a bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. Oh my god, that was built pretty fast. Let me uh, assign some vehicles. We're going to get a uh, baggage car to go with our baggage routing station. I think if we actually check the baggage stuff, I think, yeah, it's all built. So you can see here how the baggage will be dealt now. That should be all fine. And I think we could actually schedule even some more flights. And oh, that's oh, that's really nicely done. Actually, now now you can assign things to gates, which is really really useful. This is something you actually couldn't do in some of the pre patches before. That's actually really nice. I actually really like that. That's actually cool. Um, 
Oh, we need some more staff because there's no one staffing this. No, no, that's fine. Any more security? Do we need any more security? Uh, and... Oh, that's fine. So, that's all actually, that's actually really good. We could actually schedule some more flights in. I don't, um, let's get, let's go for some afford air. Why not afford air? Get a, uh, afternoon flight, some more afternoon flights. Why not? Um, I want a morning flight. Uh, does anyone have a morning flight? Let's see if Rex Scarner. Yes, they have a morning flight, but it requires a larger gate. And that's acceptable. Ah, it's a morning flight. So there we go. And how are we going to schedule them? You see, once we get another gate, we can actually move things around, which would be actually super, super helpful. I'm liking that. Um, one thing we could do is we actually we can um, start kind of making because uh, I think we have bet yes we have benches, so we could even start doing some stuff with benches, maybe like that. Or maybe like that. You don't want to really be sitting towards the toilet now, do you? Something like that. And then you can have like, um, like that and like that. But it depends how I want my queue. Because I want to make a queue here for this gate, but how are we going to build that queue up? Who knows? Hmm. And that's not wide enough to put two this way around. Probably going to be like... Hmm. Now, probably put... Probably put... Like that. And then I'm gonna... I'm gonna then do another nice little queue here, I think. Um, should I do a first class queue as well? I don't know. Nah, we don't need a first class queue. Not yet, I think. That should... That should, I, I think that should do it. So if I now assign to that, the cues in this game are just, uh, some of them are, uh, you know. Actually, you know what, we could, we could actually make a queue for first class passengers, actually. Let's do one. No, that's a bit stupid, isn't it? Or maybe not, because they can still walk through that little tiny gap. <laughs> Oh no, um, let's shrink that actually a bit. That'll be the queue there for first class passengers or something like that. I, I, I really don't know. I actually don't, um, do I like that? We'll, we'll leave the arrangement of seats like that for now. But I guess we could assign that one to this and that will be just first class passengers. And they'll just walk there and then come round. So it's just basically they have a short queue basically to, to, to deal with. You can see here now with the airline gate, we require at least one gate agent to be assigned and requires a door to the terminal. So that's like, that's this little door here. We need, well, that's actually a large door. We need one of those and we'll need a, uh, an agent desk. And that will hopefully uh, go through nicely. I think actually people are gonna be arriving for the morning flight, to be honest. I think that's gonna be something good. Actually, before we end this episode, why don't we um, build, where is that large sliding door? You can build, actually, you know what we could do here? We could build a small door. No, no, we're not gonna build a small door. We're just gonna build a big one. Uh, where is that big one? Sliding door, there we go. And we'll build it here. Get our agent desk, uh, gate desk, there it is. Um, hmm. How do we want this? Do we want one? I think it would be pretty cool if we have a, a first class one and then like a, a normal class one. I think that would be fine. Let me just get that like that. Oh my god. Whoa, there's so many first class users. Holy moly. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> I know why the queues aren't working. Oh my god. I know why the queues aren't working, guys. 
it's because... Oh, that's really dumb. Oh my god. It's because I have to start. Oh, it's because... Oh, that's why they've not worked till now. Uh, let me let me let me rectify my errors. I, I keep always forgetting that you have to you have to start where you want to end. So if I do a queue like that, that's basically where uh, and if I now assign that and do first class. That's uh, that's why the queues weren't working. Cause look at that, they're queuing up the complete opposite way. It's just so hectic. Um, oh crap, no, shorten that a bit, and assign that to that one, and vice versa, we delete that one, and delete this one, and we make two more queues, shorten that one a bit, and let's assign that one to this one, and let's assign that one to that one. So hopefully that will now make more sense. Let me just um we'll let that we'll let this flight come in and sort itself out and whatnot. And I hope that actually the baggage reclaim is actually working. It should be, I think. Yeah, there you go. You can see the little baggage car coming through. That's pretty cool. But we'll let we'll let this funnel through. Because those passengers are now waiting for this uh, next fight. And now, oh my god, these are still this really this just aggravates me that people are walking this way. I need to find a way to kind of maybe even wait, if I now zone this part maybe they'll walk through this way. I hope. I'm not too sure. I think. I don't know. If I maybe zone that, I might walk this way around. Because I, I thought when you make a queue thing here, that will block the... That, that's basically an entrance, so that can't really act as an exit as well. That's cool. Okay. Right. <laughs> just before we end this episode, let's just uh, fix this up. <laughs> Shall we? Uh, so, let's... Let's... Uh, we need to start where we want to have it. Okay. Um, let's shorten that a bit. Uh, and then expand it. There we go. And for this one, ooh, how are we going to have that? I don't know if we can have it any kind of good way, to be honest. Um, no, we can't. That's, oh, that's an awkward kind of fit there. Let's just do... Let's just do a. Let's just do a queue that like does that. I don't, I don't know. That's re it's really ugly. I know. We'll sort stuff in the future episodes out. To be honest, uh, let's assign to that and assign and do first class. That's much better. Even though this one's not working yet properly, I don't know why that is. Um. But then we can, I guess we can sort out this as well. This is a real big mess of cues, isn't it? Uh, let's expand. Let's do one from there. Sign to here. First class only. And let's dismantle this mess. And let's do that. And assign to that. Uh, assign to that and assign to that. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> you can see here. Look, they're all lining up. The oh my god, this is such a mess. I need to. I just. I need to rectify this before I end this episode. I just need to. Right. Uh, let's do. That should work. And now, hopefully, if we assign those to that. That should work. That queue should be fixed. And then we only have one more left to fix up. 
then if we something like that, that should be fine. Oh no, let's extend that to there. Sign to there and a sign to there. Hopefully now, as you can see. The flow should be better. And, oh, those are working now. Oh, that's good. I just hope now passengers come out the right way. But And you can see here some uh, baggage flowing on the carousel. That's very nice. I like that. So far, so good. I think in the next episode, we'll actually kind of work to kind of open up this gate and schedule some flights for that and whatnot. But I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am too. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. The shout-outs again for this video go to Callum12414 and UK Trains. That's again Callum1214 and UK Trains. The links are stopping down below. Please do show them some love. I will see you guys in the next episode. There's a nice big plane coming there. Let's have a look. Uh, well, there's a lot of people that are getting on. Oh, my God. But people are still going out the wrong way. Some of them are smart. Some of them are not. Oh, it's just... Oh, that's really, really, really aggravating now, isn't it? And then we still have that lot of passengers that are just waiting there for nothing. They'll just be waiting there for infinity, essentially. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.